everyone. Welcome to week six of our collaboration. Can you believe we're halfway through our colors? Today our feature color is yellow-orange with split complementary colors of violet and blue. I've chosen to work with Taylor Rowney's acrylic inks in Indian yellow, velvet violet, and indigo. And believe it or not, this week's inspiration came from my collection of plaid shirts. Yes, my plaid shirts. And if you know me, you know that I love them so much. <laughs> but anyway, let's get started. Okay, I did it again. I hate when that happens. I thought I was filming when I started in the journal, but I wasn't. So let me demo how I got started with the plaid design. And did I mention I've never done this before? My friend Julie Campbell painted a plaid design in green and I just fell in love with it. And I promise you that I'm really winging it here. There's a method to all things plaid, but I'm just keeping true to my wonky ways. So I'm starting with um, painted lines, horizontal lines of the indigo. And then I'm going to come in with the violet using a wider brush because I do want um, I want a thicker line of that color above the indigo blue. Now we're back in my journal, and as you can see, I've got the same horizontal stripes using the indigo and violet. It's mostly dry, so now I'm going in with vertical lines using the Indian yellow. And I'm using a smaller brush, angle brush, and just going right through the colors, and I'm wiping my brush in between the strokes there. drying it's time to add the details so I've pulled a few pens and markers and coordinating colors while I love Stabilo Woodies I think they'd work better if my pages were larger and same goes with the Posca pens. So let's pass on those. The rest will work fine, so I think a combination will do nicely on the pages.
Okay, I think I'm done. I'll sit with this for a while and decide on how to finish these pages. So I'll be right back. And here it is. First, I added a few thin lines of black using this food, food a, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, uh, ball pen. Um, looking at it now, I can even make the lines a little thicker, but it, it's not important right now. I just wanted to add a little bit of contrast, so we'll see what happens later. Then I remembered this stencil and thought it would add a bit of pow without adding too much to this already busy background. Um, next up, I used an image of a couple. Let's say it's a farmer and his wife with a caption that reads, live gently upon this earth. And let's see what else. Oh yeah. I went through some snippets of painted paper and found a piece that worked well behind the image. So again, it's good to hang on to some of your scraps because you never know when you'll need them. Well, that does it for this week. I hope you enjoyed watching and maybe it'll inspire you to go mad for plaid in your journal. So until next week, take care and I'll see you then. All right. Bye everyone.